Like I'm seeing a theme either like your AW11 is like worth something or it's in a pile in your trailer park front yard. Or it's on fire or it's been on fire recently. That's where we're at with a lot of these 80s and 90s desirable cars. It's either nice or it's a piece of shit. There's very little in between. Yeah. And the people that have pieces of shit think that because nice ones go for a lot of money that they're somehow in that club and that's i'm sorry dude that's not the case it's, it's the barrett jackson effect but you know but with zoomers yeah. instead of boomers let's do the aw11 because we haven't really done aw11s ever and i think that more and people zoomers are interested like, eat this shit up dude yeah, they like they want to see '80s shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I like them too, actually. Like, I I think the uh, AW11 is a pretty cool car. I would love to own one if I could find one in really good condition for a decent price. But dude, there was one on uh, Albuquerque Craigslist. A fucking cream puff, mm -hmm. cream puff AW11. Dude wanted like seven grand for it, and it was like his neighbor owned it, old lady, and he bought it from them. And he's like, it just sits, and I'm I'm getting, I want to get rid of it. When I saw it, it was posted. I want to say 11 hours ago and i messaged him hey when can i come take a look at the mr2 dude never messaged me back and mark just sold damn like, Fuck. here is a 1987 toyota mr2 2200 bucks orlando florida complete flock dash not a plus poly bushings for suspension parts fresh rebuilt steering rack new inner and outer tie rods new interior carpet nearly all interior panels c pillar trims with toyota visor gas tank is rust free side air snorkel spare bear 3s gte <laughs> short block new snorkel. radio <laughs> it's snorkel dude like this is snorkel. way off of how snorkel is spelled <laughs> <laughs> new radio battery relocated in the frunk spare aw11 transmission spare 4a ge7 rib bare short block spare complete 4a ge7 rib big port engine tore down has a few other parts on the side doesn't turn on needs to be towed 2200 obo that's a lot of extra engines that this thing comes with for yeah 2200 bucks 2200 bucks like if you're into AW11s, this is probably a deal for you. Yeah, I like, part like, it out. Like to build shit. Yeah, or if you like to sell shit on eBay, I mean, this is a lot of it's a lot of junk for your buck. Can we just can we point out the fact that if your leading note is complete flock dash, you have a turd, my friend. If that, yeah. yeah, that's the high point of Bro, the car. The dash is flock, dude. Yeah. It's so fucking sick. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen an AW11 with a flock dash. Why would you want to cover up this bizarre 80s polygon ass interior? These do have the worst interior out of all of the MR2s. Like, it's they're just, just yeah, well, so stupid. That's because stupid. they're it the, was the 80s. Yeah, yeah, they're the worst of the MR2s. But you know, the Cressida is also the 80s. It doesn't fucking look like this. It doesn't look like a spaceship. Yeah, but the Cressida wasn't trying to look off on guard. Yeah, that's true. It was trying to appeal to um, the boomer, the Japanese yeah. boomer. The Japanese boomer. Oh my god, look at this piece of sh Look at the ass on it. What the hell? Look let's, look how smooth it is. Let's figure out what's going on here. It's a 1986 Toyota MR2, 7,000 bucks, 109,000 miles, needs some electrical work, does not start, and body work. All right. I'm more about that wagon. Yeah, what's well, good with that radio flyer? All the info's going to be in the pictures. You remember that movie? Which one? Uh, no, I never saw radio, radio flyer. flyer. Yeah, man. No, the kid like made the wagon fly. It was lit as it was. It was a great commercial. Because he got child abuse. He's <laughs> got child, child <laughs> abuse. <laughs> oh, God. Can I go to so bed? So I, I see a problem over here. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of hard to drive the car with that over there. Makita tools, though. High class. High class. Yeah, bro but he boy. also he has to have corrective lenses. Cringe. Nerd. Yeah. I, have, I have corrective lenses. <laughs> don't, um, don't you guys have corrective lenses no what the hell happened to this car that's both it looks dumb like they tried terrible. to make a mini f40 yeah they do. it up dude this looks awful that is not like, a what, uh what a piece of shit Seven thousand dollars oh, for this no. thing. It looks like a kit car on the ass auto zone truck tail lights yeah it looks but, like you ought to be ashamed Trailer looks like lights. somebody described a Corvette to like a five year old, and then they said, All right, cool. This is <laughs> the it. The backup Dad. lights look like a fucking dome lights. Like it looks like you'd turn them on and off from the outside. <laughs> this was designed by a Make a Wish kid. <laughs> oh no. Dude, that's really bad. I'm going to give you a thumbs down on that one and say that uh, if it doesn't run even for $7,000, you are insane. Yeah, like this is, this is what happens when you completely flush your money down the toilet. Yeah. This is what it looks like. You fucked up. Bad. Real bad. Big. Yeah. Sup, it's Neck Gear. Trying to talk some shit? Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some shit, bitch. Merch. 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 All new sticker designs and Merch. our classics are available at Merch. collectorcarfeed.com slash store. Merch.
1987 Toyota MR2, 5,500 bucks, Tucson, Arizona, 165,915 miles, five-speed manual, silver top, 20-valve AW11 MR2 with T-tops. Have you ever driven an MR2? If yes, you understand the unique driving experience this vehicle has to offer. If you have any knowledge of the 20-valve 4AGE, you understand how quick this engine revs. Lucky for you, this MR2 has one. The drivetrain is in excellent condition. The engine has less than 70,000 miles on it with a new clutch. The original five-speed manual transmission works great and has no fifth gear pop-out. The interior is fairly complete, including very hard to find parts. Like all AW11s, the exterior has wear and a damaged C-pillar trim. And there it is. I am also throwing in many spare parts, and who gives a shit? Needs a little bit of work, but it does have a 20 valve silver top in it, which is pretty fucking cool, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's got it where it counts. Yeah. Yeah, like this, no, it, it doesn't seem terrible. No, this, this is kind of, this is, this is kind of cool in the mechanically sound category. This is a real I can fix her type of car. Yeah, this like, will get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like it, dude. I, I don't hate this at all. I mean, it's a cool engine swap. The paint shot on it, but it's pretty much complete. It runs. So, I mean, 5500 bucks. I mean, lowball them a little bit. This is a cool car. Yeah, like, if you, I, even if you got it for five grand, I don't think that's a yeah. bad price. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, thumbs up yeah, from us. I mean, the, the, the silver top is probably five grand. I don't really? know what silver top actually costs, but, I mean, already installed, you don't have to do shit except repaint that valve cover so you're not a goofy. I mean, you're done, dude. That looks nice. This looks... Actually, it doesn't even look that bad. It's I mean, I just... I don't, I don't, I don't like it. it. It's not my style. It looks it. like it was yeah. hard to well. It's, it's, it's like... It's a little juvenile you know let's but, let's be honest yeah. there's probably some other things you'd paint before you get to that in this car that's yeah that's true not bad not bad at all yeah i'd probably paint this dude's mom's face before i painted that here is a 1988 toyota mr2 for two thousand dollars in ben lomond california just did the clutch and slave master i'm thinking it needs a clutch just did the clutch slave and clutch master. He's thinking it needs a new clutch. Been saying a few years will fire with starter fluid, crappy black primer job over the original blue. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. Doesn't sound like it, but new plugs and wires on non-op. No late fees due. Need it gone now. And will not accept code verification. I don't know what that means, but uh, it's that's 2000 the, bucks. That's a scam that's going around. Where people are like, oh, I'm going to send you a code to verify who you are after they ask your phone number and it's so they can hack your oh, Google yeah, account. Oh, yeah, and they're, they're oh. trying to get into your email. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, I like the um, the log that he's using to prop up the lid here. That's, it's that's OEM, dude. It's heavy. It's wood. It's better than bad. It's good. It's log. What the f*** is that shift boot? It looks like a bear scrotum. It's not log. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That's not it. Oh, it's it's all an ass. <laughs> it's all an ass at zero <laughs> RPMs right now. <laughs> Two grand, non-running, needs a lot of work. Maybe those I seats were original because they look a lot like these, actually. I don't know. For, no, not I think I think grand. for two grand, it's pretty Ooh. nice. Go see how many have a log for a hood prop. <laughs> they, they all have logs. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, it was factory. Yeah, that factory was, that log. Was factory, yeah. hood factory log. Sorry. Well, yeah. they figure it wouldn't uh, rust. I like yeah. the side stripe on this one. Kind yeah, of that looks cool. 86, 8,000 bucks, Stratford, New Jersey, 131,000 miles. Not many of these left. It's in great shape other than some rust starting behind the wheel well. Tune up, new plugs and wires, fresh oil change. It runs beautifully for 8,000 bucks. This might be the nicest one that we see, actually. Oh, it's an automatic. Oh, boo. Oh, and a terrible steering wheel. Look at that lightweight what window crank. <laughs> it's like a race window crank or something. Bill it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like, the... yeah, it's not like a low rider. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the red one on the other side. And look at the fucking pedals. Ugh. <laughs> and your engine bay looks like this, bitch. You live like this? <laughs> <laughs> the red brings it all together, dude. That hood stick. Yeah, a lot of them have this hood stride. It looks uh, that badass. That is nice. I, these ones are growing on me. These these AW11s are growing on me, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Logic Wavelength. We we honest to God need a graphic designer. Yeah, you yeah, should really do shit that feed awesome mates. You. Pretty much... Uh, you know, we're I'm gonna put it out there all up front. We we all work for free here. You know, yeah, it's a pro bono position. Yeah, <laughs> pro, pro boner, pro boner, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you want to work pro boner, hit me up. <laughs> I have because I, dude, I have a lot of ideas, but I have no ability to bring these ideas into fruition. So he says there's no money in art. That's not true. You just have to draw porn for money. Yeah, you got to draw furry porn. And I have a lot of ideas for that, too, if you want to make some money. No, we don't want to hire no, anybody for that. that. We should have a, a furry porn competition. No, so who can draw I'll give here? him ideas and he can make money. And then I get the idea man cut. 
That's what we should do next time. We'll, all the Super Chat money will go to someone who makes the best hentai of Netgear. No. We're not going to do any of this. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Netgear Rule 34. That's what we need. We don't need that, dude. Yeah. Actually, probably that already exists of like a router. Do not right? Google R34 Netgear Edition. <laughs> I'm Google. Oh, God. His name is Soup Man. It was Soup Nazi, but he had to change it. <laughs> Got changed at Ellis Island. <laughs> VR Chan says, what is he doing to that S14? <laughs> what are we doing on the floor, Netgear? Step Netgear. There you go. <laughs> There's a 19. He's stuck under a car because, like, the, the jack gave out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a jack for you, Step Netgear. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an 89 Toyota MR2, $9,000 two days ago, parked in front of a mobile me? home. It's just solid content, dude. You don't have to. <laughs> great. Oh well, it's 189,000 miles automatic transmission run runs is good. Everything's good. Clean title, man. OBO. This looks like uh no for me, dog. Man, like it looks yeah, clean, but wait, this guy's out of his mind. Look at the shadow in the first picture. It looks like a like a cobra. Cobra commander. Nine thousand dollars. That is very optimistic, my friend. Nice pick. Dude. Why do you even include this one, honestly? <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Let me drop this in uh, Marketplace Fingers and Toes real quick. <laughs> All right, well, this one looks even worse. So. Oh, no. 88 Toyota MR2, wow. 1500 bucks. Two days ago, Silver Spring, Maryland. 100,000 miles, not parting out. What? Oh, what? <laughs> it caught fire. That's, yeah, this is burned to the ground already. Why would you not part this out? What you need to do is take that down to Crazy Rays in Bell Camp, Maryland. And I'm pretty sure they'll give you like six or 700 bucks for it. Yeah. And then you're done. You're welcome. You know, Crazy Ray will come to your house and tow this away for you for free. Does Crazy Ray still do tow aways? I don't even remember. It's been we don't a while. have Crazy Rays here. I don't know what you're talking about. I, uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. Yeah, I don't just, know shit about a, a Crazy Rays, but we got a pick and pull here and they'll come pick up your car. That's what it is. Yeah, it is a giant pick and pull. It's like a dollar cover, you know, bring your own tools. Yeah, so it's yeah. great because they've all got like their little economy in there. So there's like people, you know, selling tamales and like guys that will, you know, help you for a fee, do stuff. It's great. Here they only sell you gold chains in the parking lot. They don't have food. <laughs> the front end is really nice. Dude, you, you haven't lived nice. until you've had a pick and pull yeah. tamale. I got to get on your I, level, dude. Yeah, <laughs> man. The pick and the pull, pick and pull food truck. Are you kidding me? Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Here, the you know, old ladies will be out there in the parking lot selling burritos out their trunk. It sounds based as hell, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like a pick and pull burrito wouldn't be too bad. Well, this sucks, dude. This is this is just you somebody's could, you garbage. Could, you could legit sell beers to motherfuckers outside of in the parking lot of a pick and pull and make a killing. That's no man's land. There's no law in the pick and pull. No. So, like, I'm seeing a theme either, like, your AW11 is, like, worth something or it's in a pile in your trailer park front yard. Or it's yeah, on and, fire and or it's been on fire recently. That's where we're at with a lot of these, you know, 90s, 80s and 90s desirable cars. It's either nice or it's a piece of shit. There's very little in between. Yeah. And the people that have pieces of shit think that because nice ones go for a lot of money, that they're somehow in that club. And that's, that's I'm sorry, dude, that's not the case. It's it's the Barrett Jackson effect, but, you know, but with yeah. Zoomers instead of Boomers. Zach says pick and pull crack is the best. I, I believe it. <laughs> I do like the $1 cover because that just gives you free license to just fill your pockets with little bits and pieces yeah. to take home. Oh, you want fuses? Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Need, uh, there was um there was this one relay on the S13 that kept blowing on me and it cost like twenty dollars every single time to replace it and i went and grabbed every single one of those in the pick and pull one time for free <laughs> that, was, that was a nice day actually like the pick and pull is is it's a wild fucking place because like how hard up are you that you go to the pick and pull and you buy the used fucking coolant Ooh, yeah or the tires yeah, they, they sell or... used oil and used batteries and yeah. and yeah used coolant for like not much less than a new jug of coolant by the yeah, way yeah <laughs> not that much less yeah i mean i'm telling you though like legit business if uh i had storage space for it pulling off wheels like you know factory alloys and just selling them as onesie twosies there's gotta yeah. be money in that because they sell them for like 35 40 bucks yeah because there, there's motherfuckers that that they're like ear to the ground at the pick and pull when a new car is coming in they're like okay it's this kind of car i can get this 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 that's what sells i'm gonna pull all that shit off day one yeah and you got to be fucking the girl that takes the money because she's gonna be the one that's feeding you the information <laughs> that's what the real ogs do <laughs> take this advice go down to your local pick and pull find the cashier girl or guy whatever you're into take her to a nice dinner yeah. where you can sit down yeah, take her to a nice I went, steak dinner i went on um when did i go and f a pick and pull girl 
Oh, it was Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's Day. Oh, Jesus. Because and, <laughs> okay. and, and I was like, and I was going to the pick and pool and I was like, oh, let me take this some Valentine's chocolates. And and when I got there and I was paying, I, I, I told her, I was like, damn, I forgot I was going to bring you some chocolates. And she's like, I, oh, you should have. <laughs> and like, she was like, after that, she was like, oh, like this bitch wanted me. I, <laughs> oh, you should have brought them. Let me stamp your hand. <laughs> now we know You're what Edgar really... does in his free time. Taking me back to pick and pull days. With yeah, the for accent. real. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Uh, I love the pick and pull, dude. The pick and pull is fun as fuck. It is. It is, fun is, to go it is an amazing time. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. My soon to be 13 year old is like super excited to go to the pick and pull and just like blow his birthday money, just like getting random car parts off shit. I'm like, you know what, bud? Go for it. You gotta smash a spark plug and take the chunks with you when you oh. take them there. Oh yeah, the window breakers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every single car is going to be looking like this when Poochie's kid is done at the pick and pull. Absolutely. Yeah, you can just break a window. Nobody's going to stop you. you I mean, it's I, I found it's a drive shaft upon. one time and just javelined it through a window. <laughs> like, it is just a playground for retards <laughs> at the pick and pull. Really <laughs> and you're not wrong. It really, truly is. Tetanus at everything. This is a Forester Turbo I found at the pick and pull. I was looking at their uh, at the inventory. I was like, oh, they got a Forester Turbo there? Let me see what the f- Look at the downpipe on this fucking thing. Got a fucking AC duct for a downpipe yeah. on this thing? Like, it looks like the back of a fucking dryer. Yeah. <laughs> got that Home Depot special. Oh my. <laughs> I got the turbo though. Nice. Is it an upgrade or just a replacement for yours? No, it's just a stock a stock TDO4. Cool, but dude. you know, it's nice to have spare parts. Of course. And it's fun to go to the pick and pool. It was an automatic, but if it was manual, I may have pulled the tranny too. Man, really pulling them trannies. You really... <laughs> He does try to pull those trannies. <laughs> oh, dude, Jesus. If I, if, I can jerk, if I can jerk a tranny out of there, dude, f- yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a 1987 MR2 for $4,000 in Kent, Washington. 180,000 miles, considering all offers, doesn't drive far. Bought this car in January 22 what? as a birthday present to myself. Ha ha ha. Ran and drove great until it didn't start one day in June. Had it towed around to shops and replaced a fuel pump, injectors, igniter, distributor, dizzy rotor, and cap, and none of that solved the issue. Runs on starting fluid, so it's something fuel-related. Last mechanic bypassed a corroded connector and gets it to run, but rough. Could possibly drive on a trailer, but doesn't have much power. Something electrical for sure. Have extra headlight motors, not installed. Hood is rattle can black. Wheels are OEM Dorito Toyota wheels painted white. Sitting on eBay Godspeed coilovers and slam down low. Ha ha. Gonna miss this car a lot, just trying to recuperate what I spent. Ah, oh, cool Previa, though. Yeah. Interesting taste. But um, yeah, that's, it sucks that you can't get this thing. Ooh, MR wow, that sucks. sucks. Oh that's, uh, no, that's bad, bad. Yeah, it's that's a lot bad. of cancer. Yeah, Ooh. that's not a four thousand dollar car, unfortunately. It's a piece of sh. Yeah, go to your local Washington Crazy Rays and just let them. On the other side, <laughs> there's a <laughs> yeah. Take this bitch to Crazy Rays, dude. <laughs> there's like, up. Too. You just Google it, Crazy Rays in Jessup, Maryland. That place is. And amazing. Here's a pending 1989 Toyota MR2, six thousand dollars. Three days ago, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 159,000 miles. Unfortunately, I think the time has come to let go of my AW11. It is a manual swapped car. I've owned it since 2019. Drove it about 30,000 miles in that time. That's pretty good. The previous owner was an older lady that I had for 30 years and never drove it in the winter. Runs great. Uh, runs and drives great with some minor issues and almost no rust. Clean title. Modifications include a bunch of stuff that doesn't look that bad actually. And here's a spreadsheet on google you can check out we won't and he has more photos in his google drive but uh that's clean as actually the other the the other fucking asshole wanted four grand for that pile of shit yeah and this one looks like it might be a little bit of a project still but this is uh infinitely better car than the last one like this is nice yeah i didn't mind the blue interior on this no looks good it's in like the classic Toyota powder blue. So I see why it's pending. This is a yeah. really good looking example of a AW11. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. 86 MR2, 8,000 bucks three days ago, Seaside, California, $8,000 firm. Clean title, new alternator, new hoses, all wires changed, new spark plugs, new clutch and line, new radiator, has all original spares, will come with second set of wheels, a lot of other stuff, and have receipts for a lot of work, and money has been put into the car. Mileage and pictures, 228000 Everything works, no issues on anything. Interior is all there, doesn't need anything to be replaced. The only thing would be the rust on the roof. It's in the pictures. Price is $8,000 firm, don't offer anything, and don't want trades, I'll ignore you. So this, this one's more expensive than the last one, is what you're saying. I gotta say no to that. No, I yeah. don't. Yeah. Seats are the nice. Seats, yeah, I was gonna say that. Seat looks fucking nice. 
200 this has 220,000 miles on it like how doesn't doesn't even look like that fart limiters intact the bolsters intact these must have come out of a different car have to have yeah that rust sucks dude but i mean yeah. it's just, it just it seems like the price is a little high considering the last one had less miles was less expensive and looked like it was in better condition overall just wait because he's not going to sell it for eight thousand dollars when other cars like the last one we looked at exist so in a few weeks maybe he will be open to offers on it and you could get it for a little less it really doesn't look that bad other than this is this is that fucked, just looks but, like surface though right uh, it, really might be a, it might be kind of ate up underneath this trim mm. but i mean if, if that's the only spot on it big deal it could be worse. It could the, be a lot worse. The the useless A says if he'll take six K, I'd buy it. For six K, I'll buy that fucking powder blue one. Sold. Nineteen eighty seven Toyota MR2 coupe. Eleven hundred bucks. Knoxville, Tennessee. One two three four five six miles. The vehicle was sitting in Florida for a couple years. Used to run before that, but after sitting, does not run. Had it inspected for issues. Can give you the paperwork. Manual vehicle. Recently had a new exhaust put on it. It would be a, either a fixer upper or used for parts. Eleven hundred OBO. Car ran when left factory. <laughs> <laughs> probably no longer runs yeah um so look at, you, the, look at the mud flap oh yeah she Ooh, done. that's yeah. the rust the rust day through all the mounting points yeah just hanging the rust flap eleven hundred dollars though us chewed up if you just want something to <sighs> yeah. fuck with though if it runs if it runs for eleven hundred bucks just beat the piss out of it till it dies yeah absolutely I'm on it on it you know <laughs> You treat your cars a little different, dude. You really do. <laughs> oh, here it comes flyby. What? <laughs> okay. What the? F what a stupid time to stop the video. That's a fly minus the buy. Eighty-five Toyota MR2, nine thousand bucks. Four days ago, Citrus Heights, California, one hundred ninety thousand miles. Uh, reliable car that drives, uh, that runs and drives great. Great on gas. Up to date with registration and maintenance. Clean title, no rust. New tires, rims, size fourteen inch. No working AC. Great condition otherwise. You're gonna ask nine thousand and not even post a whole flyby picture or video? Seriously, it's just gonna end. It's going to end right at the money shot. Uh, here's a 86 MR2 coupe, 5,500 bucks four days ago in Kissimmee, Florida. I apparently say that wrong every time. Good condiciones. No, cojones. Oh, good cojones. Garage keep. Garage keep. Normal use. It looks clean. 5,500 bucks seems like a good price. It's probably resprayed based off of how nice it looks. Yeah. More and than being likely. in Florida. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's hard to say without more description, without more pictures. Go take a look because that doesn't look like a bad deal necessarily. Here's an 89 Toyota MR2 Coupe, 3600 bucks. Four days ago, Providence, Rhode Island, 127,000 miles. Selling my MR2 1989 as seen in the photo. You need a hood and a fender. Oh my God. Mechanically, oh. it's very good. The interior and the engine are in perfect condition. Any information, just right. Thanks. Oh, sh dude. Oh, Jesus. no. It's a hard pass. This is not worth $3,600. <laughs> It's not even no. worth two grand. Oh, it's sleepy time that for one, Atlas's. That, that, one, that one for 1100 bucks that ran, that was a piece of shit. Yeah, that $1,100 one looks better than this. I'd take the one for 1500 that was on fire, because then you're losing less money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this one's gone. So I guess that's MR2 AW11s. Congratulations, we did it. Yay. Yay. 